Hey, what's up everyone? It's Zionic here, and today I have a different kind of guide for you. Uh, this isn't going to be about WoW gold making, but instead about an amazing little program I found I would like to share with you guys. The name of the program is On Top Replica. It's all one word, so type it in exactly like that uh, when looking for it. And it is a free program, so very easy to grab and super lightweight, super tiny. And what this program does is captures any window or application that you want and forces it to stay on top of all other windows. So, uh, for example, while you're playing your favorite video game, you can say, have a movie playing in the corner of that game on top of the game. So kind of useful that way. Um, you can have Twitch chat overlaid in your game too. So it's really, really useful, especially if you have a single monitor solution. But even as multi-monitor users, we, we still find this very, very useful. All right, so I'm going to give you an example of how to actually do that because, like I said, it's really, really lightweight program, super easy to use. So I'm going to go ahead and open up on top replica right now. And as soon as you open it up, you get this little box here and it says right click to start. And it is as easy as that. So you right click and then just hit the top option here. So select your window. These are all my applications. So I'm just going to select. Um, I'm actually going to go to my web browser here because I want uh, I'll give you an example with. Uh, with Twitch chat, so this is on top replica here right now. I'm just going to make that small. That's my web browser and I'm going to open up that web browser, which is right here. And then I'm going to go to go find a stream. All right, find your favorite gold maker, Dozer Bob. What up, Dozer? Oh, he's grill, grill. All right, so let's pause that. And so that's capturing here, as you can see. All right, you can resize this. And if you right click, select screen region. If I just want to see the chat, I can literally just take the chat window just like that. Hit done, resize that. And you can resize this as many times as you want to. You know what I mean? If you don't, you just want to see a little bit of the chat or the last whatever, you can just keep resizing it. But um, yeah, that's that's kind of that example. So now I have Dozer's chat sitting right on top of, of my window. And if I just want to kind of see the latest chats, I don't care about seeing too far up, just resize it again. You know, maybe just take it from right here until right there. And then you're just going to be getting the really recent stuff and it takes up a lot less space. Resizing, you can make it op uh, set the opacity of it and you can also set it to click through so you can actually interact with the window that you're, you're capturing. So that's pretty much that. Um, the program has made multitasking while streaming and gaming a much easier experience for us. Uh, me and Shara both use it. I've talked about it a couple times in live streams and was really, really surprised how many people were interested in it. We got a lot of whispers asking about it, so I figured we'd uh, make a video and uh, kind of share that with everybody. Uh, but please keep these two things in mind if using the program. Uh, just to avoid any issues if um, the program won't work if you're say in full screen mode so you're probably going to be using this for for gaming most likely uh, so just make sure that the game you're running is in windowed mode or windowed full screen not full screen because um, a full screen just kind of takes over your computer and you can't have a window on top of a full screen mode application so just to get that out there um, and then the second thing I noticed is uh, the window that you're trying to capture, just don't minimize it because it'll pause the feed to on top replica. So if you're watching a stream, don't actually minimize it. Just, you know, just keep keep it open or whatever. And yeah, it'll be fine. And that's all I really wanted to say about the program. Uh, there's not a lot to say. It's really easy to use. Pretty simple. So uh, hopefully you guys find this guide helpful and you find the tool helpful. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.